Good morning. I'm Faye Thompson. I'm here to share another family recipe with you. And this morning, we're going to do a make ahead mashed potato. So all you do is peel your potato. And I just use this little peeler. You can use whatever you want to to peel the potato with. And I don't think it makes a lot of difference on what kind of potatoes you use. I get that potato has a thin skin on it. I love potatoes though. You know I like potatoes almost any way you can fix them. I'm going to wash our potato. All we're going to do is just chop it up roughly and try to get them all chopped up the same, around the same size. When they they're cooking when they get on, they'll all be tender about the same time. We're going to put those in a boiling pan. And you want to make sure they're just covered with water. You know what a potato does, if you let it sit without water on it, it'll turn dark. Okay, these are ready to cook now. I'm going to put them on a, a little high heat until they start boiling. And then I'm going to turn them down to sort of medium high and we'll cook them for 20 to 25 minutes. Even when you open them up, just take a fork, and if they're fork tender, well, then they're ready to uh, take up. This is a good cooktop. I think this cooktop is made in Germany. I sure have enjoyed it. Okay, we're ready. I won't time this. I won't time this until it starts boiling. Time it for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, our potatoes are boiling now. And I'm going to turn them down to probably a medium high. We'll check them in 20 minutes, and if they need the other five, we'll cook them with that. Our potatoes are ready for me to take over and put in a strainer. We're going to drain the potatoes from the colander. Well, now we're ready to uh, mash our potatoes, and I'm going to use this potato ricer. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this over this pan is because uh, Oh, it hurts my shoulders to uh, to reach up over that. So we're just going to use this ricer. Makes it a lot easier for you to do the potatoes. This saves you a lot of uh, time when you start ready to mash. And if you don't want to do this, you can just take a plain old tomato masher and mash them up. To me, it's a, it's a little bit easier for me to do it this way than it is to use a potato masher. Okay, now we're ready to put the rest of this over here, and uh, we're going to put our, then we'll put our seasoning in it. 9 by 13 inch casserole, and I'm going to spray a little Pam in it. I may have to use my potato masher a little bit on this. I'm going to go ahead and put my seasoning in. A one cup of sour cream. What did I do with my... One cup of sour cream. Yeah, I really like sour cream. I like buttermilk. And all your um, food stores in, in uh, Delta, they have buttermilk. But you can go some places out of the Delta and they don't even have buttermilk. I don't, I don't know how they cook that way. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have a, eight ounces of cream cheese four ounces of uh, butter. We're going to use two tablespoons of the dried onion flakes. They're, they're mint onions is what they're called. We've got one teaspoon of salt. We're going to stir this up real good.
And if you see that you need to add a little bit more liquid, you know, you can always add a little uh, cream or something in it. It depends on how thick you want them. We're ready to put our potatoes in the casserole. For my Easter dinner, I'll have my potatoes made. We're going to have deviled eggs. My daughter is sending a ham and a turkey. And the reason for having both is because some of the family members don't eat pork. Oh, you, when you're doing these family dinners when they get big like that, they have all kinds of strange things you have to watch. The little great-grandbaby, she had never been exposed to sugar. So I was fixing the egg, her Easter basket, and my daughter said, you can't have any sugar in, the, in candy with sugar. So I went and bought some candy without sugar in it. I don't know if they're going to like that or not. <laughs> I'm going to be Easter Bunny again. I've been Easter Bunny for 40-something years, and we'll hide eggs and have fun. The kids will enjoy it. So. Even my youngest granddaughter's coming, and she said, oh, my mama said, I can remember all those years. You've been Easter Bunny for 30, 40 years. <laughs> oh, she's not that old, but she remembers all her lifetime. <laughs> I've enjoyed every minute of it, though. I'm pouring the remainder of this butter that we saved, and now we're going to put some paprika on it, but that's optional. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I'm just going to put, put a little bit on it. I don't want very much. I think our holes are too big in this paprika thing. I think I need to get me another container. Maybe I'll just bring a little bit by my hand. I believe I'll do better than I would the shaker. Okay, our casserole of potatoes is finished, and we're going to wrap this in foil, and we're going to put it in the freezer. And then the day before I have the party, I'll take it out and put it in the refrigerator and thaw it out. And then the day of the party, I will put it in the oven and cook it about, bake it about, oh, 15, 20 minutes on a 350-degree oven, just as long as you get it warm is what you're looking for. So that dish is over with, so I don't have to worry much about that now. Be ready for that day of the party. Uh, I'm gonna get some foil and think I can turn this this way. Don't take as much. I hope you try this recipe and I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you watch us on another family video. Thank you for watching.